Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video where I'll briefly be looking at um, how you can set up simple pop-up messages on your app. Uh, there are two methods uh, you can use. Um, one's a simple toast um, option here and another one will be is actually an alert dialogue. So we have toasts and we've got alert, alert dialogue. So if we look at um, a toast, so we click on this and you see it pops up a simple toast like so. Now if we click on it again, so it, it pops up uh, shows a nice little intrusive message and then it automatically vanishes. Now uh, that, that way's this way's fine if, if your message is uh, relatively benign and uh, almost sort of tokenistic but um you know, if you sent like say for example if you sent an, an email message you can have it pop up say message sent or uh, maybe you've saved just saved the game clicked on save game and it just pops up a message and uh, or, or I don't know anything it just says done and you can have it say anything you want, but it just pop up, display for a short while, and then, and then vanish. And the alternative is this alert dialog. And this is a bit more um, in your face, and it will it will stay there until uh, the user dismisses it. So if it's a reasonably important message, and you want to be sure that the user sees it, so they have to click OK to for it to vanish. So if, maybe if you've got a long line of text, they with the with the toast if you had this in, as a toast the, the the user may not have time to read it so if you've got a relatively long message you can have it display and then once the user's happy that he's acknowledged it then you can just click to continue and you get <clears throat> you could get a bit more flexibility with the alert dialog you can start you can add add buttons onto on the alert dialog as well or well, up to th up to three buttons anyway and you can have what's called a, count, uh, a negative button, a neutral button, and a positive button. And you can also have it um, take some input from the user if, if you wanted it to as well. And that you might want to use uh, somewhere along the line. I'll just quickly run through something. If, you, if we were to click on a toast, and let's say the user were to turn his phone, um, his phone orientation. So if I click on this and then turn the phone. As it rotates, the message stays until it vanishes, which is fine. So if we again, if we turn it, it stays. It stays there. It does its job and then and vanishes. But if we try this with the alert dialog, when we turn it and it it rotates, it it, it vanishes. So it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay visible. Um, now, if it's just a simple message, you, that may not be a problem to you, but um. If you know, if if uh, let's say this one here, say for example, where it's asking for input and it vanishes, you, that may not be ideal. But what you'd need to do then, you'd need to use what's called a, a dialog fragment. But that's 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 for another video. But if it's just for a simple simple pop up message, and, it, and it's and it's not a big deal to you, then you can if if, we're okay, if you're okay to live with that, then that's fine. But that's just a downside just using the alert dialog. I think Android do recommend to use a dialog fragment for these sort of circumstances anyway. So um so that there's there's your two choices. Now how we go about using these um these two methods. So in the bottom of the video there'll be two there's two choices. Um one this one here will uh link you to how how you can use the toast. It's very simple. And this this link will show you how to use an alert dialogue. So thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing guys.